Hey everybody, I'm um, just coming on live real quick to kind of address Mindy's question about, you know, three different things. I have some ideas that you can do like when you're feeling triggered. And so, um, well, first of all, I just want to offer any of you who would like to dig into why you're feeling triggered, that's what the one-on-one -on -one coaching is about. So you guys can um, let me know when we can set up like a discovery call type session and go into a little bit deeper about what's triggering you, why it's triggering you specifically. And then kind of learn some steps on how to navigate around it. Like I said, that's all. That's what my coaching process is. Um, we do that one-on-one -on -one though, so I can get specific with each of you, and what your specific triggers are. But <clears throat> in order to um, just kind of help you between now and then, here's three different things that I've um, used successfully in the past when I, I feel that I'm getting overwhelmed or um, really angry or, or that kind of stuff to try to calm myself down. The first one is um, grounding myself kind of through my feet. You know how like you spread your fingers really wide? I do this one um, often actually, especially in public because you can handle it and nobody really knows what you're doing. So you spread your feet as far apart like your toes, as far apart as you can. You can do it even within your shoes, right? Then you start with your pinky toes, go work from the outside in and kind of push them individually as much as you can into the ground. And while you're doing that, you kind of inhale really deep and then you exhale. But as you're doing it, you're, um, Envisioning like you're imagining your emotions kind of starting in your head going through your body and into the ground um, It's grounding. It's stabilizing. You're allowing your emotions to process while you're doing this So you're not stopping them from happening, but kind of grounding that stability um, So after you do this three four times however long it takes you to do It's a very good exercise to get your emotions under control so that you can come back to presence and deal with your children going forward Another very effective method is something that uh, my coach uses all the time <laughs> and it's very powerful too and she taught us how to use it she refers to it as an SOS and with those letters they stand for stop open and stay so whatever's going on your thoughts your actions whatever you're doing you just stop you shut your brain down you don't move forward with thinking you know there's no um oh my god my kids are so horrible this day is so bad I'm so embarrassed like you just stop it right and then you open yourself up to whatever's going on whatever those emotions are um, fear frustration anger, shame, disappointment, resentment, whatever those emotions happen to be, right? You open yourself up to that and you kind of figure out physically where you're feeling it. If you're feeling like a fear in the bottom of your stomach or you're feeling a flush like in shame like in your face and neck area, you kind of go into wherever you're feeling it physically and then open yourself up to it, right? So you allow yourself to feel the emotions. You don't try to stop it. You don't try to change it. Um, she uses a very effective method. You can find all kinds of videos on it free for YouTube, but like tapping. So you physically tap because this method, the part of the open is to get yourself out of your head and into your body because feelings are really just sensations. They're energy that's flowing. Um, our brains perceive in some kind of way that it's not safe to feel these negative things, but in reality it, it is. And so when you're opening and you're getting from your head and into your body, the physical tapping, whether it's on your wrist, your collarbones, even your temples, however that is physically tapping, it's a method of moving out of your thoughts and into your body so you allow those emotions to process. Usually this open stage, um, anywhere from 60 to 90 seconds and your body can kind of breathe and you'll calm down and your thoughts will stop, <clears throat> stop going. And that's the stay part. The stay is the staying with the feeling for the 60 to 90 seconds, however long it takes for it to go through for you to process and then you can think more clearly once your emotions have actually, um, the energy of those emotions have gone through. And the third thing, I use this one often at home. It's not, um, and like Mindy, you specifically, you have kids that are six or eight, so they can probably understand this. But there's times I just look at my child and say, look, I'm too angry to talk right now. You go to your room, I'm gonna go to mine, and when I calm down, we'll have this conversation again. It's a separation. So again, you're not reacting, and your conversation's not emotional-based. And that separation allows you, again, to process your emotions, to calm down, to come back to a neutral place, and then when you go back to address whatever situation is going on, then you can do it from a clear mind, right? So you're not just reacting based on emotions, but can cause escalate everything um, worse than it needs to be. All three of these me methods work really, really well. I use all three often. Um, but the point of all of them is that you're coming back to a neutral space, right? So once the emotions are calm, you've processed them through your body, you're not pushing them away, you're not running away from them, you're not doing any of that. You're allowing the emotions to happen. You're just processing them in a way, you're processing them and so that way when you go back, you're coming from a more um, 
a neutral place emotionally and then you can see the circumstances more clearly talk calmer to your child and so the issue can get resolved as opposed to um blowing up because you're emotional they're emotional everybody's fear is feeding off of each other and makes a big tornado that we've talked about before in the past so try those three things um let me know what you find out let me know um, if you have any questions or anything i'll gladly reply to it but i guarantee once you get used to practicing them that's how you can go from both of your anger fear frustration escalating arguments and becoming confrontational then you use these three you calm down you come from a neutral space and then you can talk to them rationally and the calmer you are the calmer they're going to react right because you know this if you react in anger they're going to come back right at you and so you're just bouncing this um these volatile emotions off of each other so let me know what you think keep trying them and then i'm going to be live again today at four o'clock hopefully from the office not from my bedroom <laughs> to talk about this day's uh, particular topic in the challenge there has been an issue with my emails. Y'all are getting them late. I apologize. I, I don't know how to correct it at this point. I tried to change the time so you'll get them earlier in the morning, but they're about two to three days behind. Again, it was my fault. I messed up on the tech side, but you will be getting all the emails kind of updates. And then of course, everything that we're doing is staying here in the group so you can access it when it's convenient to you. Thanks and see you guys at four.